Hey, I'm back. We're just doing a second video. I'm not like even re-recording it. I'm not even like putting them together, <laughs> like cutting them together. Nah, who gives a shit? Anything goes now. Anything goes. Isn't that what's one of the things that's like really great about um, what's happening now with our society and within yourself? Like just you let it all hang out. Who gives a shit? You just do whatever the fuck you want. See, I just cursed and I'm not I'm not splicing together the videos. I'm just not doing it. I don't give a shit. So I want to read this to you. Oh, so I wanted to share. Before this started, was it before this started? It was like right, right, right at the beginning. Well, actually, yeah, yeah. So let's back it up a little bit. Before this started, I was guided to start putting together some writings I did back in 2010. And it was when I was first breaking out of my family's programming and society's programming. And um, I was working with a healer before that for several years with actually two different types of healers. Although the, the guy that I initially worked with was not, he, didn't, he doesn't call himself a healer. He doesn't say he's intuitive either. Maybe he says he's intuitive, but he doesn't market himself like that. He markets himself as a business coach. <laughs> anyway. On two, in 2010, I went through this shift. It was when I met, um, I connected with my twin flame and I started going through these shifts with um, breaking out of societal programming and family programming. And I had put together these writings again years ago, it was 2010. And I, they were just, they've just been sitting around for years and years. I didn't even think I was going to be doing anything with them. I think I might've even been wanting to throw them out because I don't like clutter. I'm a bit of a minimalist. So I've been kind of itching to get rid of them and spirit guided me, which I really think it was Zeke guided me to package it up, um, into a book and it's called doing my life, my way right now. This is the title breaking out of the illusion and, and jumping to higher timelines. So I was working on that book. It's going through editing now. Um, someone um, uh, is editing it for me, a fellow Indigo, which I'm so grateful for that. Um, and then right as I finished that book, that's when all this coronavirus stuff started. And then Zeke was, um, well, I didn't realize it at the time, but I started writing this new book called um, the Rise of the Light Workers When You Know It's Your Time. And that book also is available on my website, loveguru.net, for download. It's over 300 and maybe 80 pages now. Um, and I didn't know it when I first started it, but Zeke was writing the book with me. And you see, he has long passages that he starts talking to me. So this is just a continuation. All the books that I have, um, they are over 16 years of my life on the spiritual path. I've been on the spiritual path for over 20 years, or maybe I actually think it's been close to 25 or something. I forgot how old I am. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, but it, I think it's a, a, over 16 years, my books, and you're going to see they're all going to start ordering, uh, being in order. Not all the books are out yet. I have a book coming out on my marriage. Um, that goes after the Do You Know My Husband, which was how I learned how to attract the one. And all of my books, so now they're all lining up. It's all lining up in chronological order. And um, it's really cool. So all of my work has to do with breaking out of the matrix, breaking out of society's programming, breaking out of your family's programming, breaking out of break, clearing past trauma, clearing fears, clearing anger, anxiety, sadness, all of that, all the stuff that basically is being drudged up for people now. Um, and what we're stepping into, which is really, really exciting is that, you know, when you were on the spiritual path for like the longest time, my whole life, um, me being on the spiritual path, I was always like this weird one, this like black sheep. Uh, I just felt like no one really understood me. And even the spirit, the spiritual stuff that I was into, I couldn't really talk about it with anybody. It was like, you know, I'm sure maybe you can relate to that. It, it's just, um, you either have spiritual friends, which I never really did have any spiritual friends, even though I went to like a lot of spiritual classes and workshops. I just like never really, I always kept to myself. That's like an indigo thing. And um, I just always felt very alone with it. And I didn't really, after a while of being on this path, you kind of question like, 
why am I one of the only ones like doing this work? Why am I one of the only ones like doing so dedicated to like healing and blah, blah, blah. And like, that is what's going on now. Like that is what is needed in the world now of like everybody, those of us who are like old school, like, or, um, like, OGs in like the spiritual field, like in doing our healing work for like years and years and like shifting stuff within ourselves. Like, well, now that's what's needed in the collective because hello, the whole world is awakening now. Whether they want to or not, you know, you're stuck doing it. And um, that is very exciting to me and it should be to you if you are a healer, a teacher, a leader, a spiritual teacher, a spiritual healer, a spiritual leader, because your gifts are needed now. You're gonna be stepping up. And if it's not now, it's right coming up right after this. So it's all coming together for me in my life. I'm writing about it in The Rise of the Lightworkers. Um, if you wanna be getting initiations and activations through that book, any of these books that I work on with Zeke, well, first off, all of my books are awesome. I'm just going to say that. Good job, Blair. But, well, I'll say and. The books that are with Zeke, they, there's something so special about them. It's so funny because he's right here and he's like, Zeke has been just chilling with me for weeks when we're writing this book and something is getting excited. Something exciting is happening, going to happen, even more exciting getting excited about it. So um, all of his books are like very layered. Um, you get initiated and activated when you read them. Like you remember things, like certain things turn on within you. And also what's really cool and also kind of crazy about the books is that first you can pick them up at any time and you open a page and it's connected to exactly to what you're going through. Like there's guidance right there. And now this is years later. Like I wrote this book with him about our, um, I'm talking about how aliens put me into power, the first installment. There's two more of those books coming out. They're not ready yet to come out. Um, I'll get them out when I'm guided to. But um, side note, so I met Zeke. I reconnected with him on this earth plane um, in, March 2014 we reconnected to write this book now rise of the light workers and he told me to start editing how aliens put me into power first installment March 2020 so it's eight years and it's so interesting on how it loops around the same date the same date like the same time and I had this thing happen with um when I was putting out do you know my husband that experience happened for me in 2004, uh, in June, the end of June 2004, and then I was, oh, here comes a dog maybe, okay, hopefully not, because I, my dog is finally laying and chilling, and I'm recording a video for you, so, um, the same overlap of time happened when I was, I went through that experience June, July, 2004, about breaking out of the matrix of the dating matrix of what people teach you to do, like to look online, to find a partner. You don't have to do that. You learn how to attract it to you. And I break you out of that programming in that book. Do you know my husband? And then I was guided by spirit to edit that book and publish it because it was just sitting in storage basically. 10 years later, the same date, the end of June, 2014 so something about my writing career like it overlaps with dates and so, and it ends up being the same exact dates that I'm basically going through that portal again to like edit the book and like get it out like release it out into the world I think that's really cool so anyway I've been reading this book I've been editing the how aliens put me into power I'm doing my initial edits before I send it to somebody and uh, to do their editings um, and there's not really much editing with it because it's all channeled so I like keeping these writings clean I don't want anything added to them I just um, there's just like some minor questions of like does this make sense or whatever if I need to add in more explanation and um, I just want to make sure this is still recording um, so now that I'm reading this book over this first installment, How Aliens Put Me Into Power, he is talking about the same stuff that's going through my mind now. Like, I, 
it, it's just mind blowing. It really is mind blowing. Like I will work on the book and then I left it for the last couple days because I was like, I was getting like tons of downloads the other day and I like, I just needed to like, just be in my own zone and I couldn't edit or think and I didn't want to go through the book and I was writing my other book, The Rise of the Lightworkers. And um, I come back to it. Because I'll tell you, I'll tell you what's going on, okay? Should I talk about it? No, not yet. Um, so this is an exciting time. We'll just put it like this. I, I want you to read the books. Uh, they're very exciting. They're gonna just, all of them, blow your mind. They're just so awesome. And I'm just seeing on how important my work is now in the world and um, how literally it's, you know, the rise of the lightworkers. It is the rise of the lightworkers. Um, that's the new book I have coming out. Well, it, it is available on download. Um, I've been getting some like amazing reviews, early reviews of that book. I love it. It's getting to be kind of long. I think I, I don't know if I'm going to end up making it into a part one, part two, because it is getting quite long, but it's so good. There's so many teachings in there about like what is going on now, what's coming for the future. I'm getting a lot of visions. It ends up that I am very prophetic and I've actually always had this gift, but um, I was always in a place of maybe doubting it um, and poo-pooing it and now I'm really indulging it and just more and more stuff coming and that's what's so exciting because uh, we're all awakening to other levels now and um, people there's just so much exciting stuff we're just gonna leave it at, like, at that there's just so much exciting stuff going on and um, if you've been on this path for a long time and if you're not really affected by the coronavirus, I'm talking about like if you're not walking around with a mask and gloves and in fear and um, you don't have anxiety coming up, um, well then, you know, obviously you must already know your next phase of the journey is like you're stepping into being that place of even more so of a teacher and a healer and a leader. Um, and if you are experiencing a lot of anxiety, anger, fear, sadness, feeling out of control, whatever, then yeah, get on the path of healing and um, get one or all of my books, whatever speaks to you. I have, a, I have all, on my website, you know, when this thing first started, I was guided to make these like kind of um, like quick and dirty, like easy, it's not dirty, like quick and easy, like PDF guides. And some of them are videos and um, just to like support you. If like you have anxiety coming up, if you don't know how to disconnect from other people's emotions, um, it's a beautiful day out. Like what happens is when people are, if you're feeling fearful, um, if you're uh, feeling out of control, if you're like, life is falling apart, you know, um, well, welcome to the spiritual path, you know, like it's an incredible path. Like this is the journey that those of us on the spiritual path go, over, go through over and over again. You go through these dark nights of the soul and you learn how to deal with it. You learn these tools and I have these uh, PDF guides and I have these audios and videos on my site for you at loveguru.net to support you through this. And I share with you practical exercises that work that I wish people shared with me years ago. Um, it's not fluffy spiritual shit. It's very practical of like, here's how you take care of it. And when you've gone through things like that, uh, over and over again, things when you're going through a collective thing like this, it doesn't bother you. Like I'm not bothered by it. Um, there will be times that I will feel like, you know, I went food shopping the other day and, um, there's a lot of anxiety running rampant and just shitty energy. And, um, I wasn't phased by it, but I came, it took me, it I, so, okay, let's put it like this. I wasn't phased by it like like I would have been in the past, okay? Like here, you know, I came home and I had to like do certain activities to like get that energy off of me. And uh, I have, again, a little plug there, shameless plug, you know, I'm making this video for free. Why do you think I'm doing it? To promote my business, right? 
Um, I have these tools to support you. So yeah, I have that on my website. It's under the PDF page of what things that I do to clear my energy, to ground myself. Because when you're in that anxiety and fear, you're not connected to what's really happening. It's a beautiful day out today. It is gorgeous. Um, you know, I live in New Jersey and we have been having like really shitty weather and it's been beautiful lately. Um, and no one's really out. You know, there's a few people here and there, but now why? Because they have trauma going on. So if you're not able to function as business as usual, like you have trauma that has been triggered by this. So fine, no big deal. Oh, we can heal that. So um, I'm here to support you. I'm here to help you with this. Like I had shared, I have tons of tools on helping you to do it. Um, and then you get to rise higher and higher. And to me, it's just very exciting about all the things that are happening in the world right now. I feel very excited about what's to come. I feel excited about everything. I feel really happy about how much growth I've done, how much healing work I've done throughout the years. I see how different I react to things than other people. Um, and, and to myself in the past too, you know, I'm really grateful for how much I've grown compared to the older versions, uh, you know, the younger or older versions of me. Um, and this has been a super productive time of my life. This has been a super creative time of my life. And, um, as you hear, I'm working on three books at this time and they're all going to be released, uh, very soon. I mean, there's PDF copies on the website. You could start reading the stuff now. And uh, this is an excellent time for you to start doing some internal work. And you don't have to. I mean, this is a totally optional thing. But, you know, you've been listening to me for 20 minutes now. I mean, why do you think your soul has brought you here uh, just to, uh, I don't know, stare at my face? I don't think so. So there are a lot of positive things going on now you should know that you know that's not put out in the media because the media has a different agenda you know my agenda is to empower you to empower the collective to shift uh, the collective to help support humanity rise to higher levels of consciousness the agenda of media is to um, put fear out there and uh, I'm not going to go into reasons for that again I share about this uh, in the Rise of Rise of the Light Worker, that book I was, I've been talking about on my website, um, a lot of stuff is going to be revealed very soon. I'm really excited about it, and um, oh my god, I totally, you know what? I'm going to make another video because that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Actually, let me see if I could just uh, roll it out. If this is going to keep recording, I wanted to read to you. <laughs> you know, what? I'll start a new recording.